Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. We're looking eastward over what is the Dead Sea Valley. Between the ridge before us and the higher ridge behind us lies the Jordan River and the Dead Sea, and that higher ridge is called the Plains of Moab. Important in the Old Testament, it is now in the modern Kingdom of Jordan. And if you look farther eastward, you can imagine beyond it Saudi Arabia, Iraq, and Iran. Iraq and Iran were two areas associated in the ancient world with the Persians. And the Persians are often assumed to have been the people from which the Magi or wise men came. We can imagine them coming over those deserts, here following a star, asking Herod where the new king was born. They came to Herod, probably in Jerusalem, at his palace there. Today we're standing at the Herodian, not in Jerusalem, but at a site a few miles away from Bethlehem. The Herodian was an important fortress, palace, and tomb complex built by Herod. And as we look into it, we can see the gardens, the courtyards, the dining rooms, the bathhouses, the royal apartments, all the magnificence and pomp that's associated with the worldly king. This was Herod the king to whom the wise men came. We can imagine Herod here or in Jerusalem as he received those wise men and how he was troubled when he heard that someone had come who might take his throne. The scribes of King Herod told the wise men about the prophecy of Micah. Thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. With that information, Herod sent the wise men to Bethlehem. And not far from this site, the Herodian, we can see the modern Arab city of Bethlehem, built on the site of biblical Bethlehem. Bethlehem, the house of bread, which would be the place where the bread of life would come down from heaven and join us here on earth. Bethlehem, the town of the shepherd boy David, who became the king of Israel. David, the ancestor of his son of David, who would be the Christ. When the wise men came to Bethlehem, they followed the star which they had seen in the east till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. This is part of the Christmas story from Matthew 2.